Hello. Hello and welcome. How's it going? Just going to plug me ears in and then I can hear what you can hear. Because hopefully everything will be coming through on my system. Now I can hear myself, but I'm just going to check because if the gremlins attack, I won't know, will I? But I hope everybody's been okay in this cold, cold weather. And uh, I've been trying to avoid the frostbite, as everybody else has, because, uh, you know, putting the, uh, the fire on. I've been trying to avoid the frostbite. I yep, I'm coming through. Okay, so, Bob's your uncle. Good evening, lad. How's it going? <laughs> I love some of these handles they put on uh, YouTube. Yeah, so YouTube, I've been on it all day today. <laughs> I'm addicted to it. I love it. I've been uh, I've been watching uh, videos on everything from conspiracy theories to uh, to cycling videos. I'm from cycling videos to auditing videos. I don't know whether anybody knows about auditing videos. This uh, fella called Charlie Veach, who uh, he, he goes to uh, Piccadilly and uh, I guess attacked by people, vagrants and what have you, and uh, f videos it. And uh, yeah, there's Reggie photos. Is another good one. He's he's uh, he's good and. Uh, He's funny, Reggie, photos, because he got, uh, I don't know whether anybody remembers, years ago they used to measure uh, distance with a stick with a wheel on it and a little clock. And as you push the wheel forward, it would clock up the uh, the yardage. And uh, people used to, like when they were sort of setting out uh, for foundations on building sites and stuff like that they used to push these wheels around and so that was a job go to that point there go to that point there come back and come back and then you can measure and make sure everything's right and so he went on ebay and bought one of these one of these wheels and of course all he does he's got a, a set of glasses with a mirror in the middle uh, not a mirror a camera in the middle and he's got uh body cameras and and he's he's got his phone of course and uh so he went to Bury, to the town centre, to the shopping centre, and just starts walking around with this stick with a wheel on it. Well, it wasn't a couple of minutes before all the jobs worth came out. Uh, what are you doing? He said, what do you mean? What, what, what are you doing there? Well, I'm just measuring, aren't I? Why? Well, what's it got to do with you? Yeah, but who are you with? Well, I'm not with anybody, I'm on my own. And these guys, they won't let it lie. I mean, you can't do anything these days. I mean, some of these auditors, they go around to different sites, uh, police stations and public places, and uh, and they just get accosted. But that's all part of the thing, because uh, being on YouTube now, there's that much content on there, you know, something like this, doesn't get that many views. You'd be surprised. Uh, I mean, I've got... Uh, That's my video page uh, on YouTube, GJ Armstrong. Incidentally, if you if you'd like to go and subscribe, I'd be much obliged, and you can watch all of the videos. I, I download all these videos uh, every week, usually on a Friday, and uh, but you've got to have something that that really draws people in now because just making a video isn't enough. So you've got to have somebody either beaten half to death or. Shot, burnt and stabbed all in the same day or, or, you know, crime and that kind of thing. It's all the negative, really. Uh, you know, if you show somebody doing something positive, it's less likely to get your views than it is showing something negative, which is a strange thing. But that's what they say about TikTok, don't they? They say that uh, in China, you get nothing negative on TikTok. But the TikTok that they put out all over the world to us it's nothing but, you know, negative. Lunatics trying to uh, insert a banana where it won't fit or God knows what, you know. In road. So, I digress. So, I'm going to sing this song first for you all. 
And this is a song called I'm So Blue. It's an old uh, New Orleans style blues song. So let's, let's see how it goes. I get so blue, so blue about you, sweet honey, cause your loving is so soft and warm. I get those blues deep down in my heart, sweet baby, cause your loving is so far away from my home. Now listen here, baby, I said you listen to me. I believe your loving is the sweetest I've ever seen. And I get those blues, those blues about you, sweet honey. Cause your loving is so soft and so warm. Now listen here, baby, I said, listen up to me. I believe your loving is the best I've ever seen. And I get those blues, those blues about you, sweet baby, cause your loving is so, so soft and warm. I get those blues deep down in my heart, sweet baby, cause your loving is so far away from my home. I get those blues deep down in my heart, sweet baby, cause your loving is so far away from my home. Now listen here, baby, you listen to me. I really can't stand the thought of mixing it with another man. Cause I get those blues deep down in my heart, sweet baby, cause your loving is so soft and warm. Get those blues deep down in my heart. So let's see who's in the house. Who's in this week? So let's just click who's on that. House. Let's turn who's that down. Week. So, so we've got Bob and we've got Patrick. Patrick Nestor is in so far. How are you doing, Pat? I'll see you next week, won't I? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Loads of thumbs up there. Right, so, yeah. So then I've been stuck on uh, Facebook all day and uh, YouTube all day and a little bit of Facebook. And when I was on Facebook, uh, I don't know whether anybody's actually noticed, uh, depends on your feed, but uh, there's been a little bit of a, a problem, shall we call it, that's become a real bad thing now. Uh, and it's with the Night and Day Cafe in Manchester on Oldham Street. Now, the Night and Day Cafe, uh, there's loads of pubs and clubs up there that do the music thing. And the Night and Day Cafe is basically, it's a music venue uh, that also is a cafe. And they've been there for, I don't know, 20, 30 years now. And it was only a couple of years ago the owner actually passed away. But... Uh, his wife, I believe now, has it. And they've had a problem in that the local council, Manchester City Council, in their wisdom, decided to grant planning permission for the upstairs 
of the buildings to be used for residential. Now, the thing is, uh, there's an old adage or an old story that a fellow went to court and tried to uh, sue the local cricket ground because the cricket balls came in and smashed his greenhouse and it kept happening. And so he took it to court and said, I'll have my day in court. And when he got up against a judge, the judge set a precedent by saying, if you buy a house next to a cricket ground, expect a ball to come through your window. You know, now, I mean, it makes sense. And there is actually, legally, there is a, uh, a saying in Latin. And if you put it above your door, then uh, basically what it means is you, you say, you know, enter at your own risk. And it's non valente fit injuria. Now, if there's any legal, uh, legal people out there, correct me if I'm right or if I'm wrong, but it should be non valente, non valente fit injuria. Put that over your door, and anybody that trips up falls in your door, you can't sue you. In a road. So, uh, yeah, so I've been on that. So, Night and Day Cafe has now got a resident upstairs who's moaning about the sound, about the noise, right? So, what's this going to do? Because the, the council now are, are sort of not washing their hands of it, but they're trying to say, well, you know, it's, it, we, we get the point and all this. And you think to your angle, and you've got you to make a decision. But if it does go one way or the other, if, for example the person who's moaning about the, the, the noise that he can hear in his flat above a music venue that he bought knowing it was a music venue, if he uh, wins his case, so to speak, that's going to set a precedent. Now, I don't about you, but I've noticed there are millions now, millions of flats above adjacent or just down the road from large venues, music venues and such. So every one of them is going to start putting in a complaint, thinking they can get a bit of the old moolah out of it. So uh, there you go. So it's it's a it's something to consider. But watch it, night and day cafe. Uh, they, they've got a, a uh, an online uh, petition. You know the type of thing. Sign here and uh, you know support them type of thing. Not that it ever does any good but it's the best we can do because if you don't vote well then you can't moan who gets in power can you type of thing and road this next song is one of my uh one of my own compositions and it's all about uh it's about the devil's weed it's all about smoking and about how it can be very detrimental to your health, both physical and mental. Roll up, roll up to the Penny Bazaar And you don't have to travel too far Roll up, roll up and roll your mind you can join the deaf, the dumb, and the blind. The grass is greener on the other side on the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride. Yeah, the grass is greener on the other side on the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride. Well, roll up, roll up, you hippie cats. Carbo cockroach rizzler rats First one's free, no charge on the door You can pay me when you need some more Grass is greener on the other side On the rock and roll bullshit, cliche ride The grass is greener on the other side On a rock and roll bullshit Cliché ride You know, habits can be formed 
even if you want And the need to get high Means you play with fire You're gonna get burned Roll up, roll up in the rain and snow It's a premium grade, it's a real home grow Come on down, there's a circus in town You can play the fool, cause everybody's a clown You know the grass is greener on the other side On the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride Yeah, the grass is greener on the other side On the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride Roll up, I just don't care You know, sometimes life just ain't fair I just can't seem to get out of bed I sometimes feel I'll be better off dead No, the grass ain't greener on the other side On the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride No, the grass ain't greener on the other side On the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride You know, habits can be formed Even if you won't And the need to get high Means you play with fire You're gonna get burned Well, no more roll-ups, no more drink I've had 40 years of time to think 25 years is just a blur But I've decided I deserve much more No, the grass sing greener on the other side On the rock and roll bullshit cliche ride No, the grass ain't greener on the other side On a rock and roll bullshit cliche ride You know, habits can be formed Even if you're warned And the need to get high Means you play with fire You're gonna get boom gonna get burned Said you're gonna get burned Said you're gonna get burned There you go, a little song to preach about the devil's weed there. So uh, let's see if there's anybody else in the house. I heard a ping a minute ago, so I might go. Oh, Jason Duxbury. How's it going, Jason? Irene Ash. Hello there. Lovely lady, Irene Ash. Right, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, at this point in the the proceedings, I'm going to just plug my CD. A shameless plug. It's called Songs on the Back Foot. And there are 10 of my songs, including that one that I've just sung, Cliche Ride. And uh, you, can, uh, you can buy it. All you have to do is to message me and uh, I'll send it free post for seven of your English pounds. And uh, I'll bang it in a post for you. And I'll also put in the post free of charge a DVD of a, a show I did or partaked in free of charge. So a CD and a DVD for seven of the English pounds. It all helps to support the, uh, the channel and to keep everything going because, uh, because everybody's struggling. So uh, I'm sending it free post. How's that? 
And uh, yeah, so you know, I was thinking today. You know, when when I was a from being a small baby, my uh, my mother used to bathe me every day in cheap Australian lager. And I was 18 before she told me I'd been fostered. I don't have a drum, do I? <laughs> right, okay. Let's uh, put the capo on and I'll sing this one, which is a, a Reverend Gary Davis song. And uh, it's a... Uh, it's a song called well it's a song about uh, a young lad trying to trying to get his way with a girl and it's called Hesitation Blues that doesn't sound right does it Start again. I was born in Alabama, I was raised in Tennessee. If you don't like my peaches, don't you shake my tree? Come on, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? Well, a nickel is a nickel and a dime is a dime. And one day, baby, gonna make you mine. Well, tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? Well, on the eagle on the dollar it says in God we trust, but if you want me, baby, better pay up first. Tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? If the river was whiskey and I was a duck, I'd dive to the bottom and it'd never come up. But tell, tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? Well, rocks in the ocean and fish in the sea. Can't you see, baby, a little world to me? Now tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? Well, I'm a hesitating man wearing hesitating shoes And can't you see I got the hesitating blues Well, tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? Well, a nickel is a nickel and a dime is a dime And one day, baby, gonna make you mine But tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? On the dollar bill, it says, God, we trust, but if you want me, baby, better pay up first. Now tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? Well, in the river, it smells like duck. I just died to the bottom, never come up. Tell me, baby, how long must I wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? I'm a hesitating man wearing hesitating shoes and can't you see I got the hesitating blues Well tell me baby how long Tell me baby how long I said tell me baby how long Would you tell me baby how long must I Hesitating blues there Okay Let's just put that there for a minute I forgot my drink. It's about this time I wet my whistle. But uh, I'm going to have to carry on regardless. The show must go on, as they say.
What I'm going to do now <coughs> is, after shamelessly plugging my CD, I'm going to uh, play another one from the album, in actual fact. Sounds great that when you say that, doesn't it? I'm just going to play another one from my album. It's a great feeling when you when you actually produce a CD or an album. Uh, I, I, I recorded mine at uh, what's now called the Spirit Studios in, uh, in Manchester. Just as you go in on Hyde Road, it used to be called SSR. And uh, it's quite a renowned studio. And they call it Spirit Studio now. Uh, and it was in the top... The top... Uh, floor studio which was this they call that the spirit studio and as you walk in what a feeling because you're walking in and all along the walls is all the pictures of all the people that's recorded in there you know the the uh happy carpets and the spiraling mondays and all that lot and uh, there's tony wilson his pictures on there the great tony wilson who uh people of of my uh, my vintage will remember him from Granada Reports, and I'll tell you a story about this. Is true this? I was I used to love going down Manchester when I was young, and uh, I used to spend all day in Saturday walking around and just looking at shops and wishing I could afford it type of thing, you know. And uh, I used to always go down just for a buzz. And I was walking along Oxford Road one day, and. I was just walking past the, I think it's the Odeon cinema on Oxford Road. I think it's the Odeon. Great big cinema. And uh, that was where I seen, uh, I seen Enter the Dragon there. Back in 1973. I was supposed to be 18, but I wasn't. We all used to just look, look old, try and look older than you are and get in. And uh, so I'm walking past and all of a sudden this tall, uh, guy with a load of hair and, and no word of a lie, a mink coat a full maxi length down to his shins, mink coat was striding majestically up the road and of course it was Tony Wilson and so I'm a young lad, I was about 15 16, something like that and I stood there and it was the first time I'd ever been starstruck because when you meet famous people it's a strange thing. Some people, some some famous people, make eye contact with you, and interact with you, or or just look at you. And other people, some of them look right through you, uh, and and that's how they deal with it. That's how they deal with all the attention because it can make you feel uncomfortable if everybody's staring at you all the time. Uh, but uh, and I've met a few uh, famous people, and and some of them. They made, and he made eye contact with me. And, of course, I just stood there like that. <laughs> that was it. And I was just gobsmacked. It was him off the telly. And he used to have a, a show called What's On. And every week, I think it was every Thursday or Friday, What's On would come on and tell you what's on at the weekend, where the bands are playing and that kind of thing and what's going on. And so I used to watch it religiously. And, of course, there he is, Tony Wilson. Uh, in a fur coat, a, a, a long mink coat. Honestly, unbelievable. And uh, I, I, you know, when you look back years later, and I think, what a gawp I looked, <laughs> just staring at him. But uh, yeah, so this sto this uh, this song is on my CD, and it's all about. Uh, Riding motor. I've had a few motorbikes in my time and scooters, and uh, just got a push bike now. Just bought a new push bike. Try and get the belly off me. So uh, yeah. So this is all about uh, how it feels when you're you're stuck in an office, and all you want to do is get out on the open road, and it's called the open road. <laughs> Years of being tied down to the board 
bottom of a desk. He felt the strain of sadness and the pressure and the rest. But it never gave him what he needs or stopped the hunger he must feed. Cause he's dreaming of the open road tonight. Yes, he's living on his own Michael Reed. And the open road is calling hard tonight. Well, his blanket and his saddle back, they're tied down hard and tight. And he's dreaming of the open road tonight. You know, life could throw a curveball further on up the road. Gasoline and alcohol, it can be a heavy load. But he's longing for the western wind adventures that the road can bring. Dreaming of the open road tonight. Yes, he's living on his motorcycle dreams. And the open road is calling hard tonight. His blanket and his saddlebag are tied down hard and tight. And he's dreaming of the open road tonight. He's living on his motorcycle dreams And the open road is calling hard tonight His blanket and his saddlebag They're tied down hard and tight And he's dreaming of the open road tonight In denning jeans and blivers He rides a high end horse And he don't need maps or GPS To find a steady course Cause his dreams will take him far away where the sun shines every day Cause he's dreaming of the open road tonight Yes, he's living on his motorcycle dreams And the open road is calling hard tonight His blanket and his saddlebags They're tied down hard and tight And he's dreaming of the open road tonight Yes, he's dreaming of the open road tonight Yes, he's dreaming of the open road tonight. The open road there. One of mine. Right, okay, let's see. Right, I can't see from here how many people are actually, I uh, can see who's commenting, but I can't see how many people are watching. So sometimes I get quite a few people watching and some part, sometimes I, uh, I don't. <laughs> it all depends really on, uh, all depends on who's not out or not watching. I'm a celebrity. Not me neck in or whatever the bloody hell it is this week. But, uh, yeah, the, the, the thing is now, uh, going back to the, the night and day cafe problem and the, the, the pub problem, gigs, now it's, uh, it's getting really hard for musicians uh, because nobody's going out. The pubs are closing left, right and centre. And that old adage, if you don't lose it, you will lose it, is actually coming true now because, uh, you know, everything's everything's starting to collapse. And so uh, we have to keep, keep on uh, living our life as we want to and as we should, even though it's very difficult because of the uh, increase in all the costs because the food's going up and the energy's going up and the fuel's going up. Everything's going up <clears throat> and it's all making life very, very hard. And anybody that knows me knows that uh, I'm quite... Uh, I'm trying to stay in the middle. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm quite into my conspiracy theories because uh, 
everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why you have to get up every week and go out to work. And that's because the system makes you. And the system is money. That's the system. So uh, when you earn money, you have to get up and earn some more because you spent the last lot. And uh, there's an old saying, no one ever kept hold of the wealth by spending it. But you can't take it with you. No pockets in a shroud. So uh, there you go. What's the... I'll tell you what. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this one. I was gonna sing my Facebook song, but uh, I think I sung that last week. This is a, a very old blues song called "Sitting on Top of the World." Was in the spring, one summer day. My baby left me, you know she just went away But now she's gone and I don't worry Cause I'm sitting on top of the world She called me up from down in old El Paso Said, Daddy, can I come back because I miss you so But now she's gone and I don't worry Cause I'm sitting on top of the world if you don't like my peaches, baby, don't you shake my tree. Get off the orchard and leave my peaches be. Well, now she's gone. I don't worry, because I'm sitting on top of the world. you come back running holding out your hand I'll find me a woman like you found yourself a man now she's gone I don't worry yeah she's gone and I don't worry I'm sitting on top of the world she's gone and I don't worry she's gone and I don't worry she's gone and I don't worry Cause I'm sitting On top Of the world Lovely old blues number there uh, Well I'm going to take this off I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to bugger off, as they say. So, uh, before uh, we go, I'll just remind you, uh, if you want a CD, then you can uh, message me, and I'll pack one up in the post and get it to you. And also, if you'd like to go on YouTube and see all the videos that I've done, uh, I've got uh, quite a few videos now. I don't know, it's getting on for 100 now. And uh, so they're all on there, and you can see me make a fool of myself and uh, sing some funny songs and what have you. And that's. GJ Armstrong on YouTube. So, there we go. So this last song I'm going to sing is another one of mine, and it's uh, and it's all about the state of play in the world. Everything goes up, but my pay. I said everything goes up, but my pay. You know the ramp man knocks upon my door But I don't live there anymore Everything goes up But my pay You know the gasoline price Is too high You know the gasoline price Is too high 
You know that old car of mine won't cruise unless I fill it up with juice. The gasoline price is too high. I have me a wife and two young kids, but she done put me down. She said I ain't no good when the payday comes around. This old world is a lonesome place when you ain't got no dough. And nobody wants to know you when you've got nowhere to go. I said everything goes up but my pay. You know that everything goes up but my pay. You know the rent man knocks upon my door, but I don't live there anymore. Everything goes up for my pay. You know everybody's feeling the pinch. I said everybody's feeling the pinch. You know, rich folks, folks in fancy cars, they drink champagne and caviar, but everybody's feeling the pinch. Have me a wife and two young kids, but she done put me down. She said I ain't no good when the payday comes around. This old world is a lonesome place when you ain't got no dough. And nobody wants to know you when you got nowhere to go. Everything goes up but my pay. I said everything goes up but my pay. You know the ramp man knocks upon my door, but I don't live there anymore. Everything goes up. But my pay, everything goes up, but my pay, you know that everything goes up, but my pay. Okay, that's it for this week, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, you can always catch the live streams on my YouTube channel as well. And every Thursday, every Thursday, <laughs> every Thursday, 8 o'clock, I'm here. And uh, you can buy a coffee if you'd like to give me a tip. I look like a busker, don't I? This is what I look like when I go out busking. So until then, take it easy, uh, have fun, and I'll see you next week.